is over to Bruno Vincent, and he's going to be showing us through some simple demonstrations what exactly the Wild Trout Trust does. So today I'm going to be talking about uh, fish handling. Um, I know that many of you will already practice excellent fish handling. Um, the thing is, there's quite a lot of debate about what's appropriate, what's not. Um, and my personal opinion is that the debate shouldn't really be necessary. Fish handling should be done to the absolute utmost uh, at all times. Uh, quite often on Facebook comments and Twitter and things, I see people go, well, I saw the fish swim away fine. So, you know, it's fine to lay it on the gravel or, or to hold it out in the air for 10 minutes while you try and get the best picture. Swim away fine isn't really good enough. That's my opinion, but I don't think it's really good enough. If I were to attack you in the street, would you stand there wounded next to me or would you try and run away? A fish is going to have the same sort of um, uh, fight or flight instinct and flight's going to take over. You release that fish in a poorer condition than you found it, it's still going to swim away, but it might suffer later. Um, so that's certainly one excuse that I, I, I don't really uh, approve of. Um, the other thing is people hold the fish up for a picture. Now, I'm all for showing off a, a, a trophy fish, um, but doing that in a way that respects the fish is, is also critically important. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of a, well, it's somewhat of an experiment because I ha literally haven't done this yet. So we'll see what the results are. Um, we're going to have a little look at the, the sort of physics involved in uh, when you hold a fish out of water. Um, so in my net, I have just caught a lovely oof, two pound jelly filled adult balloon. Um, it's basically an analog for our fish. Um, it's a skeleton, it doesn't have muscles, but if I take it out of the net, it's neutrally buoyant. It's basically very, very similar to how a fish would be in the water. Slight changes will take it up and down in the water column. Now, the fish is born from the, from the very first second the egg is fertilized. That fish has only ever experienced these kinds of physics. It's been completely hugged by the water, the pressure hitting it at every square centimetre of its body on all sides at all time. There's a reason why astronauts train in, uh, in pools for doing spacewalks, because it's as close to a, a consistent weightlessness as, uh, as we can experience on, on, on Earth. Now, a fish has literally lived like that its entire life. And um, well, when you take it out of the water, this, this happens. I mean, I think you can see that the stresses here and here are quite considerable. Now, obviously a fish would have a spine and it would have some muscles here to sort of help lift its body a little bit and take up some of the strain. But ultimately it's never had to use those muscles before. It's never experienced this. Water in which it lives is 800 times denser than air. So essentially this, and this are currently weighing 800 times more than they did underwater. And there's similar pressures here. Now it's being supported, so there's, there's some spreading of the load around my hand, but ultimately that is an uncomfortable fish. So, you know, those selfie shots where you hold the fish out like this, one-handed, and you can see the stress in the belly. You know, supporting with two hands is pretty good, but actually, this thing's flattened out. It's still experiencing some pressure that it wouldn't normally get. Underwater, this thing is perfectly cylindrical. The pressure is acting on every side, it's cylindrical. Right now, it's slightly flattened under this new gravity, essentially. You know, two hands is good. One hand, pretty bloody awful. The bigger the fish, the bigger the fish, the greater the effect. So um, yeah, I'd just like you to have a little think about that. Now you might be thinking, well, how do I take a nice picture of, of that specimen trout that I've caught? Now, I don't know, you may not agree, but actually just having it in the water like this is almost entirely supported. And even with this pretty mucky lake that we've uh, got today after yesterday's rain, I can still see 
well, I'd love to say all of the patterns in this, but um, I'm seeing other stuff instead. Um, but you can see plenty. And it, as a photographer that I once was, I think this looks cooler. Um, it's certainly a hell of a lot healthier for the fish. And when you do finally release it, it's as, it's as good as you could possibly have achieved. I'll be back a little bit later on the beach playing in rock pools. Um, thanks for watching.